Hi, everyone. Uh, it's Tuesday, October uh, 11th. Uh, it's great to be with you. Hope you had a great day yesterday. I hope you found some time intentionally to be alone with God, to have that solitude with God. And I, if you were here, I'd ask you, how, how'd it go? Because um, I think that when we do that, we um, it, it, it gives us amazing things in our lives. Huh? When we take that time uh, to be with God and, and to, to pray with Him and to listen to His voice, to His Word, and so forth. Um, so uh, today, I, I, I want to talk about uh, the, these three points, I, I, one each day for the next two days. I, I made these points in, um, in, in the message Sunday. I just thought they were so powerful, and they're in your book as well. Uh, and and the, the, the first one is, solitude is not about being alone, but being alone with God. And I, and I think that's so powerful. You know, um, I, I mentioned this in, in the message, but, but uh, one person once wrote that, the greatest enemy for us to seek solitude with God is hurry and noise. <laughs> you know, our lives are always about hurry, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, and, and that pushes uh, any idea about finding alone time with God out of the picture. I got too much to do, right? Um, and, and the other one is noise. We got all these voices in our heads. We have all these things that we have to think about, right? All these things that we have to worry about. Uh, and, and, and so uh, some folks... I think they they um, they think solid solitude is just being absolutely alone, pushing all these things away. Uh, and 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 what what we're talking about is fi is is finding time alone with God, uh, and, and and in a sense finding that place where where there, there is no hurry, uh, because I have I have intentionally uh, carved out this time. Uh, and I'm listening to the voice of God, not any other voices, right? Uh, and and um, I, I want to read this this section uh, from uh, from the Old Testament. I think it kind of hits it, okay? It's, so so the guy named uh, e Elijah, he was a, a famous prophet, and he had had this great victory, or he thought it was, and um, but now he was running for his life, okay? And he thought he was all alone, uh, and and he was at a really low point in his life, right? Uh, in fact, uh, he even said, Lord, just take my life. Uh, so he, he was done. He was cooked, right? And so it says, um, and the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, broken down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left. So feeling all alone. You ever feel that way? Yeah. And now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. And the wind, uh, after the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Uh, and so it was this gentle whisper uh, that God spoke to him through, right? Uh, one of your uh, readings in in uh, in the book uh, is talks about the whispers of God. I think this is so true. When when we intentionally find time to be alone with God, uh, so that the, the the noise is quiet around us, we have time to hear this whisper of God as He touches our hearts with His truth. And and in uh, uh, and in, in the book uh, in that day, it, it, it talks about four truths. You know, I, I love you. I, I forgive you. I, I chose you. I'm coming back for you, right? These things whispers to our hearts. But, but there are so many, the whispers of God come in such amazing ways. I have called you by name. You're mine, right? I will never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you always. In your weakness, my strength is made perfect. Uh, and, and on and on and on. Uh, and, and, and so, but in order to hear these things in our soul, to hear the whisper of God, we, we, we need to slow down. We need to carve out this time. Uh, we need to, to, in a sense, uh, push the noise away, uh, as Jesus did, right? Intentionally, got up early in the morning, nobody was up, went out to quiet places, prayed to his heavenly father, uh, and heard his voice, his word. Uh, so, uh, Today is, is, is this idea, uh, when we talk about seeking solitude, it, it's not just being alone, alone time. It's being alone with God. 
and again, uh, I mentioned this yesterday, but for me, the, the parallel uh, with, um, if you happen to be married, to finding that time every day, just a few minutes sometimes, to connect with your husband or wife, uh, where they're the only th where where you're focused on each other, right? It's powerful stuff. And then, of course, longer times uh, dur in during the week, and sometimes a weekend, and sometimes vacation. You know, uh, that's how relationships are strong. Uh, and and so every day, God calls us then to intentionally find this time of solitude with Him. Uh, certainly, prayer and His Word is a part of that. Uh, but then we can hear His voice as he touches our hearts and souls with his truth through his word. Uh, I have called you by name. Uh, you are mine. As the song we sing sometimes in church, I am who you say I am, and to be strengthened in that. So would you pray with me? Dearest Jesus, uh, we pray again that your spirit would guide us into um, finding those times of solitude with you and with our Heavenly Father um, so that we can better hear your voice as you touch our hearts with your truth through your word, not only to hear it, um, but, but to receive it and to live in it um, as who we are and who, as, you, as uh, one who you have called to be. We pray in your name. Amen. All right, we'll see you uh, the next couple of days yet. May God be with you. Bye-bye.